CEO Ronnie from Creating the Difference, one of the things that we're all kind of, it's on our mind right now is germs. And what we're gonna do is a little experiment to kind of show how if you're bowling like in a league bowling scenario, what actually happens when you're talking about spreading germs from person to person. So I've got some interesting stuff right here I'm gonna show you. It's called a glow germ, it's a powder. We're actually gonna put this on a towel. We're gonna to rub it on some of our, one of our subject's hands and everybody else is just gonna get touched with a clean towel. Let me show you, you can see where the glow germ stuff is, and obviously it's not over here. We've got six willing subjects over here that are gonna allow us to actually put some of this glow germ right on their hands, but we're only gonna do it to one person. We're gonna have them close their eyes so that they don't know who's being infected. So go ahead and close your eyes. They're all gonna close their eyes. They're gonna stay closed the whole time. We're gonna infect just one of them. So I'm gonna put some stuff on your hands, and then you just rub your hands together. Go ahead and rub your hands together. All right, rub your hands together. All right, rub your hands together. Rub your hands together. Rub your hands together. All right, rub your hands together. So now one of them is infected, you can open your eyes. So one of you is infected, but none of you know. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna boldly, and you're gonna do what you normally would do. You're not gonna, you're not going to do anything different. Just boldly and have some fun. So we're gonna let them boldly, we're gonna time lapse it, and then we're gonna come back and see what happens with the spread of germs. Stay tuned. So my mom actually, we purposely infected her, but she's not gonna bowl. This is kind of another little secondary experiment to be able to see what happens when you actually don't bowl, but you still have the infection on your hands. So check it out, check this out. You can actually see the virus. It's all on her hands and her phone. Her phone is fine right now. Her phone's got no virus. There's nothing really anywhere else around her or on the lanes anywhere. So we're gonna stay, we're gonna watch and just let her sit here and watch everybody else bowl for three games and we're gonna see what else she infects too. So, this is gonna be kind of an interesting test. We got some bowlers that are bowling. One of them's infected, four of them are not. My mom is infected and she's gonna just hang out. Stay tuned. We're doing a little experiment right now. We're actually seeing how bowlers interact with each other. We're actually bowling three games and in bowling the three games, we're actually gonna be able to kind of see, you know, what's actually happening with the bowlers as they bowl. So. Uh, you know, with obviously with the COVID-19 situation and just, you know, uh, viruses and bacteria in general, it'd be kind of interesting to kind of see how viruses and bacteria actually spread around. So we're going to have these, have these people bowl and, uh, you know, they're high-fiving and hanging out and you can see that more high fives and touching their faces and touching their phones and they're not thinking about any of this stuff that's going on, but one of them is actually infected uh, with the material that will allow us to be able to see uh, germs as they're passed from person to person. Now, they don't know that. Uh, they don't know who's infected, but one of them is infected and is, in fact, not feeling very well uh, from a test standpoint. And um, they're going to infect each other, and we're going to kind of find out who actually uh, was infected first off, and then where did all that infection uh, get transmitted, all those viruses, all those bacteria, where did all they get, where did they actually end up in terms of like on their hands or uh, on their jerseys or any of that kind of stuff? Because bowling, as we all know and love, is a very participatory sport that actually uh, relies a lot on interaction with people. So stay tuned. This is going to be a lot of fun to see kind of where the germs actually come from and where they actually go. So we just got done having our infected people they bowled three games. Now, here's the thing. We only infected one of them with our special glow germ type material, which is actually, it's a way for us to be able to show you how germs spread from person to person through contact. So one of them is infected, four of them were not to start. And now we're gonna take a look and see exactly who all or what all is infected. You guys come on over here, line back up. We got a black light. We're gonna show the black light on your hands and we're gonna see kind of where the infection has spread to, and we'll see if you guys are really, really bad. All right, we'll cut all the lights off. Got my black light on, we'll start over here. So there's, just, there's a little bit, see right there? A little bit right there, a little bit right there. Not very much though, not too bad, not too bad. We'll look on your face, close your eyes maybe there. Let's see if there's any touching your face. A uh, little bit, maybe a little bit of action going on there. Okay, next person. Oh. Uh, there's a little over there, not much. Not much, looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. All right, close your eyes. Oh, pretty. <laughs> All right, next person. Oh, your shoes glow. 
a uh, little busy right there. You can see it on her hands right there. Definitely on her hands. So she's got some some germs on her hands. Definitely. Oh, yeah, that's bad. Take your hands over. I'm curious. Let's see if it's on the back. Not really. Oh, a little bit on the back. Not a lot. Close your eyes. Oh, oh look at this right here. Look at that. Touched your face, huh? You're touching your face. <laughs> I can see that. All right. All right. Oh, we got someone on this side of your face, too. All right. So you're touching your... Oh, oh we got some real infection going on right here. Actually, uh, my dad, this guy, my dad right here, yeah, he's the one that we actually infected initially. And you can see uh, he definitely was sick, and he still is sick. You want to turn your hands over? Let's see. Turn your hands over. Oh, look at that. Definitely got uh, nice rings. Uh, let's see. Let's close your eyes. Let's see the face. Oh, yeah. Look, 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 look. Oh, yeah. Eat it all up on the face. <laughs> oh, yeah. Touching your face too much, senior. It's bad for you. Dustin, let's see. Not too bad at all. There's a little bit. Just a little bit. It's a very, very little bit. Close your eyes, Dustin. Oh, yeah. On your lips, man. You need to quit touching your lips. <laughs> You're touching your lips, brother. All right. So there we go. We'll put the lights back on. And then we're going to go back to my mom, right? Let's go back to my mom. So my mom, she wasn't bowling. She just had some put on her hands as well. And you can see, oh, yeah, she's definitely got the infection action going on in her hands. She was definitely uh, was carrying the viruses. Look at her phone. She was playing with her phone. See see how that? See that right there? See all that? All that touching? That is bad, bad, bad. So that's all we're really doing is just kind of show you. Close your eyes, Mom. See if you touch your face. On your shirt, there's some on your shirt right there for sure. A little bit on your face over here. All right, cool. So let me get the lights back on now. We'll wrap this up. So basically you can see, we only infected one person, but there was transmission of this particle, this dust, this virus across all of the different people. We didn't even look at the bowling balls yet. Let's see, look at the bowling balls, see if there's anything on the bowling balls. So we got the light again. Well, the balls don't look too bad. There's, no, it doesn't look too bad. That's, Dad, is this your, this your ball right here? That's mine. That's Dustin's. This is yours? Yeah. So let's see. See if your holes are dirty. There's some in the holes for sure. Definitely some in the, in the holes for sure. The balls don't look so terrible. Of course, they kind of glow in a black light too, so that doesn't really help us there. But nonetheless, you can see that transmission can occur. Uh, we'll go up here. Let's just take a look. Let's see if there's anything going on up here that we don't... You don't like? There's some on the phone for sure. That's your phone, Dad? Yeah, mine. Yep, see, look, see. <laughs> it's definitely, definitely got a little bit of action going on there, a little transmission, passing that stuff from contact. And this, you know, viruses and bacteria, they can last, or viruses for sure can last on a table uh, for up to nine days. That's a long time. So obviously with the current situation, with the COVID-19 being what it is, you know, this is one thing that we want to keep, um, keep, people abreast of in terms of things you can do to limit that exposure. So I'm going to show you, Dad, come up here real quick. I'm going to show you one thing that you can do to kind of limit your exposure. Instead of me doing the high five, like we always do in league, we could do the fist bump. Well, wait a minute, you got rings. Maybe we should do the elbow bump. Okay. So you do an elbow bump with your friends. Don't, if he's got rings, if they got rings, you probably don't want a fist bump. What are you doing anyway? Ah, that's what I thought was going to happen. <laughs> anyway, so Think about that. So remember that there are some things that you need to do to be able to make sure that you keep yourself safe. In our next video, we're actually going to show you something that you can use to help keep yourself safe. As always, if you have more questions or need more information, check us out at ctdbowling.com. Ronald Hicklin, CEO from Create the Difference. Have a great day.